Hey everyone, it's Big Tony, and in this tutorial we're going to build this small, fully furnished bakery. So the materials list will be in the description, and to start, go ahead and build this layout on your world. And then if you're going to be following my interior, go ahead and fill in the floor like so. Okay, so let's start by placing one oak door in this gap. And then on the side here we'll place a 3x3 three three of stone bricks with one iron bar in the center. Now we're going to fill in this front wall with a mixture of sandstone and smooth sandstone up to 4 blocks tall. So this is what it'll look like all mixed together. But for simplicity's sake I'm just going to build all these walls out of smooth sandstone to show you the shape and then I'll texture them later. So there's the front wall and then on the side wall we'll build up 2 blocks on top of that stone brick. And let's build all of these backside walls up to 4 blocks high. Then we'll build this one up 4 blocks high. And then for this part that sticks out we're going to build it up 3 blocks high with a 1x2 window in the center. So just place some glass panes in there. Now I'm going to go around on a faster speed and mix in that regular sandstone like I mentioned. Next we'll start building up our stripped oak logs on the red blocks. So on this front side we'll build them up 4 blocks high. Then on the third block up on each side we'll place an opened oak fence gate. And we'll do the same thing for this side but we're going to have a horizontal log at the top. So that's the front side. On the left side we'll have a horizontal log going all the way across. And build this corner one up 4 blocks high. Then we'll build these two up 4 blocks high with 3 upside down stairs in between. Now we're just going to place an open fence gate on each side. For the back side we'll build this corner up 4 blocks high and then have a horizontal log in between. And those open fence gates on each side. For this double log we'll build them both up 4 blocks high. Then we'll have a horizontal log going across here with 2 open fence gates. On this back side we'll build the corner one up 4 blocks high. Then place an open fence gate on each side, but no horizontal log going across. In the final side you can just leave how it is. So next we're going to build up our staircase and a little platform so we can work on the second floor. So right here we'll place an oak stair, and then an upside down oak stair and one more stair against that wall. Then we'll turn 90 degrees and place an upside down stair with a stair on top. Then another upside down stair and normal stair. Next we'll place one oak plank. Then place two stairs facing this direction. Then we'll place two more stairs turning 90 degrees. Next from right here we'll place four upside down stairs going across. And then we'll place three more going this direction. Now we'll just fill in these holes with oak planks. And then we can start working on our second floor. Alright, so on the front side let's start by placing five sandstone across. Then we'll place three more going up on each side. Then we'll place three at the top. Now we're going to place an upside down stair on each side with a slab in between. And I'm just going to mix in the sandstone so you can see what it should look like. Let's build this block up 5 blocks tall so it should be 1 block higher. And the same thing on this side. Now the back side will be exactly the same as the front side. Right here we'll place 4 sandstone going across. Then we'll place an upside down stair on each side. Then above that we're going to fill in the sandstone to an additional 4 layers. Now going back over to the left side, on this wall that extends out by 1 we're going to build it up 3 blocks tall with a 1x2 window in the center. 
And that's it for our sandstone walls, so now I'm just going to go around and texture this. On top of this front side, we're going to place five oak planks, and then three, and we'll do the same on the back side. On these two front corner logs, we'll build them up an additional four. Then we'll have a horizontal log going across at the top, and again we'll place an open fence gate in each corner. Next we'll make a flower box using three grass. Then we'll surround it by spruce trap doors, but skip the left side. And you can place in any flowers or plants that you'd like. So on this back side, we'll build this log up an additional four. And then we'll have a horizontal log going all the way across. Then instead of the open fence gates, we'll place two slabs on each side. Build these two logs up by an additional three. Then we'll have another flower box here, so we'll place three grass and then three trap doors. And again, you can place any flowers that you want in there. Then on this back side, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did on the front. The only difference is on the flower box, you can place trapdoors all the way around. Next, we'll have a horizontal log going all the way across the top of this side. Then skipping two blocks from the front, we'll place one log. Then skip three and place logs going all the way down. Then we're just going to place some oak slabs across the top. Alright, so that is all of our walls. Next we're going to build the chimney on the side. So start by breaking these three blocks and place campfires there. Then place three magma blocks on top. Then place a stone brick on each side. Then a stair at the base. Then on top of that stone brick, we'll place a stair facing inwards. Next place a stone brick on each side with an upside down stair in the middle. Then place a full block on each side at the top. And then a stair on there. Then we'll place an upside down stair underneath that stair. And a full block in the center here. Then a stair on top of that full block, and a stair facing inwards on each of these full blocks. Then using full stone brick blocks, we'll build up one, two, three. Then place a wall and a slab. Next I'm just going to mix in a little bit of cracked stone brick and a sprinkle of cobblestone. Okay, so now we're ready for the roof. So on the right side, let's place a stair on each of these logs. Then place an upside down stair on each side. Then a slab on top of that upside down stair. And then a full block on each side. Next we'll have full oak planks going across from the chimney. Then against this wall, place a full oak plank on each side, and then a slab. Then we'll place a plank under that slab. Then on the other side, we'll place a plank and a stair. Now to fill in the roof, we'll use a mixture of bricks and granite. Start off by placing two rows of stairs. Then we'll place a row of slabs. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And that's our roof for the smaller side. Next, let's head over to the left side of our house. And let's place a stair on each of these logs. Then place an upside down stair on each one. Then a slab on top. And finally, a full block in the center. On this side, we'll place three oak trap doors starting from the front log. Then we'll place a slab. And we'll also have a slab on the end here sticking out by one. Then place three more trap doors, a slab, three more trap doors, and then one more slab. So it should look like this. Then on this slab we'll place a stair, then an upside down stair, 
a full block with a stair on top, another upside down stair with a slab on top, and then we'll place three full blocks in the center. And on this side we'll place three oak trap doors with the slab sticking out, then repeat the frame on this side. So that's what our frame should look like. Towards the back side we'll place three more oak trap doors and then a slab. And now we'll repeat the same frame from the front side. Next let's make a line of planks going from front to back. Then on each of these slabs we'll repeat the same frame. On this side it'll be a little bit different. Let's start with a plank with a stair on top. Then we'll just place another plank and slab like so. And we'll repeat it over here. So now we can start filling this in with three rows of stairs. And then a row of slabs. And in this space right here, we'll just place a plank to fill that in. And then we'll finish filling in our roof. In the center of the left side, we'll place a full block in the center here. And otherwise it'll be all the same. In this back section of the left side, we'll place two rows of stairs. Then in the center of the third row, we'll place three stone bricks and cracked stone bricks. Then a campfire on top and surround that with spruce trap doors. And then we'll fill in the rest of this roof. Alright, so in this little part that looks kind of weird here, we're going to place two upside down stairs on each side. And then a slab at the top. And we'll do the same thing on the back side. Alright, so now our roof is finished if you want it to be. But I'm going to texture this bricks with granite like I mentioned at the beginning. Alright, and now for some decorations. Start by placing two oak fences on each side of this door. Then we'll place three extinguished campfires across the top. In this corner I'll place two spruce fences with a block in between. Then three trap doors across the top. One block away from this chimney I'll place an oak stair with a sign on each side to make a chair. Then in here I'll place an item frame with some bread. Over here I'll make a spot for some firewood, so place two two block tall fences with one block of space in between. Then I'll place three oak slabs across the top and three more back here. Then underneath I'll place two oak logs and then some extinguished campfires. Now going back around to the front side. In the center of this side we'll place one stone brick. Then skip a block and place another. Then we'll skip five and place another here. And two more. Then we'll place five barrels across here. 
and then three more. And two more on this side of the log. Place a trapdoor here and then trapdoors all along this front side. Then I'll place three trapdoors on this side. And three more here. Then place two oak fences on each of these corners. And actually build it up three on this back corner. Then we're going to go up with alternating smooth quartz slabs and smooth red sandstone slabs. So it should make stripes. Right here, let's place a chest and then a barrel. And place a lantern on that barrel. Then we'll place a double chest on these barrels here. And on this log, we'll place a crafting table. Then we'll place a sign here. And then an item frame with a book and quill for people to place orders. Place two item frames here and then some food items. Then we'll place three cakes. And a lantern on the stone brick. Right here, let's make a trapdoor shelf and then place some sea pickles on it. Now for the next step, I'm going to place some stone around the front of the house. And I'll be using a mixture of stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, cobblestone, and mossy cobblestone. And what you use for this kind of depends on your world. Some other options I'd recommend in place of the stone would be grass path or coarse dirt. Alright, so that's what it looks like on the front side, and I'm also going to extend it over here to the chimney. Okay, so finally I'm just going to add some greenery. I'm basically just going to make some bushes out of azalea leaves and then add some vines to the walls. And I'm also going to add some leaves to these horizontal logs. Alright, so that's it for the outside of our house. And now we'll go and decorate the inside. So first of all on the right side here where the chimney is, you can actually replace these two corners with sandstone. Then we'll place an upside down stair on each side with the slab in between. Then a wall on each side. We'll place a placeholder block in the center and then a stair on each side. Then we'll replace that placeholder block with an upside down stair and place two more stone bricks on top. Now to clean up this roof we're just going to place upside down stairs on each side. Then we'll place three beehives here and cakes on top. And above those cakes, we'll place three item frames with some food in them. Right here, we'll place two spruce trap doors. And on top, we'll place some candles and a flower pot. Under this arch, we'll place three oak fence gates going across.
right here we'll place two barrels and then two furnaces on the ground then place two cobblestone walls with two stairs on top and one cobblestone block above those barrels next place two barrels one block away from those furnaces then we'll place a spruce stair with a sign on each side for a chair and then a double chest against the wall above those barrels we'll place a 1x2 painting so let's place a placeholder block Then next to these barrels, I'll place a double chest and a tripwire hook here. In this barrel, I'll place an item frame with some berries. Then in this corner, I'll place two bookshelves with a slab on top. Next to the stairs, I'll place a red carpet, which will be a place for your pet to sit. And above this, I'll place an upside down spruce stair and then a trap door. And on there, I'll place two pots with a fern and a spruce sapling. In this corner, I'll place some bookshelves with candles on top and then two sideways barrels. And on here I'll place an item frame with a book. I'll light those candles and then place a lantern on the roof by the chimney. And then that's it for our first floor. So going up these stairs, the first thing we'll do on the second floor is clean up the roof. So right above the glass window on each side we'll place an upside down oak stair and then an oak plank on top. Then we'll place three brick or granite stairs in between. Next place an upside down oak stair on that plank. Then we'll place another upside down stair on the other side. Then place planks above those upside down stairs. Then we'll have a stripped oak log going across in the center. And then the rest we can fill in with upside down brick and granite stairs. And finally, in between these upside down oak stairs, I'll just place an oak trapdoor. Next, place two spruce trapdoors on each side of these windows for shutters. Then right next to the shutters on the front side, we'll place two upside down stairs with a slab in between. Then we'll make an oak trapdoor railing. So start with two placeholder blocks here, and then two oak trapdoors on the outside of the block. Place this one on the inside, then we'll place one more right here on the outside of the block. For this railing, place two placeholder blocks and two trapdoors on the outside. Then we'll place the rest of these on the inside. Next, we'll place a bed right here then a double chest next to it. In this corner we'll place a scaffold with a lantern. And on the shelf we'll place a chest, an empty flower pot, and then a barrel. And finally just add a 1x2 painting here. Alright, so that's it for the decorations, and now this build is complete. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your new bakery.